Hey everyone, Steven from Straight Fire Picks. We got best bets for NBA on Saturday, April 9th, 2022. We're going to have NBA player prop spreads over unders here for you today. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. As always, just want to say that I appreciate you all here at the channel. Quick reminder here at the channel, guys, we are now partnered with Prize Picks. If you guys are interested in signing up for our prize picks account, use our code SFP or follow the link down below. We all have a link in the comment section and in the description. Really a great app, guys. They specialize in player props and things of that nature. You can bet on just about anything on prize picks. Um, and they're offering a 100% deposit match uh, with the use of the code. So if you use our code SFP, you get a 100% deposit match on your first deposit up to $100. Um, and like I said, we'll have links uh, in the description and in the comment section as well to that, or you could just use our code SFP as well. Be sure to check out our community Discord page as well. It's a great place to connect with our community. We'll have a link down below in the comment section and in the description for that as well. Be sure to also drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If you feel like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. It will include your pick in the video if it hits. Okay guys, now a quick shout out to our Straight Fire MVPs. So you'll see this beautiful list here running beside me of all of our Straight Fire MVPs. If you're interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP, there is a join button down below. I'll we'll also have a link in the comment section and in the description for that as well. Really just a great way to support the stream and what we do here at the channel. Okay, now results here from the last couple couple days and a quick PSA here, guys. So I didn't have a video yesterday, which I was really hoping we would have a video. Uh, some stuff came up with work. Uh, I do work in real life. Um, so I was unable to do a video, but uh, I did put some plays out later in the day. We ended up doing really well. I uh, ended up getting a 3-0 sweep yesterday, so I hope you guys were able to catch that. I always put the plays in the same spot every time, um, either on our YouTube community tab Twitter page and Discord. I put them in all three. Um, so I'll be the same way it works today. I don't have any official picks in this video yet because we don't have any lines out. Uh, so later on in the day, I will post those. Um, here, our official plays will be posted in the pinned comment on this video. Um, also on our Twitter page and on our Discord. So make sure you guys follow us on Twitter as well. Probably the easiest way to get notified because once I tweet, usually probably get, you know, tweets and stuff like that so uh that's what i did yesterday it worked out really well i uh, ended up having a great day yesterday we went three and oh like i said uh we were able to cash the andre drummond double double at plus 165 odds that was my favorite play of the night i uh, ends up finishing with 15 and 12 uh, points and rebounds uh, 15 points 12 rebounds which we love to see that obviously a uh, very strong game there from him um and then we had um, Trey Young under 10 and a half assists was able to cash it again easily finished with eight um, and then we had LaMelo La Ball over 34 and a half PRAs as well and he cashed that relatively easily only finished with 38 he had like 34 in the first half uh, but he did cash it early in the third quarter so I didn't really care too much after that but uh, it did slow down there in the second half but we got the three and oh sweep the day before that we went one and two um, <clears throat> I didn't recap that one yet uh, we were able to cash the Boston Celtics plus six and a half spread, um, despite the bodies being out, which regardless of who's in and out, a lot of times for the Celtics, they're very talented. They go very deep. Uh, their bench is very good as well. So I honestly wasn't too worried about Jason Tatum being out. Um, and they really should, they had a great opportunity to win that game and they made it more of a sweat on us, obviously just losing by six there. Uh, and then we missed our player props there on Thursday with Joel Embiid over 12 and a half rebounds he finishes with 10 um, and then we missed on the miles bridges over 29 and a half pras he just did not he, he didn't start right i believe he finished with 21 um really not even that close just started so slow never really had much of a chance but like i said we made up for it yesterday with a three and sweep guys i hope you guys were able to follow those plays if not uh you know today's a new day uh like i said i, I pretty much have the same structure every time for that so be sure to, like I said, check out the pinned comment here on YouTube. Check out our Twitter page and also check out um, our Discord page as well. All right, let's take a look at some games here today, guys. So uh, the number one lean I had today was Joel Embiid over for PRAs. Now, we don't have an official line like I set out for him yet. 
Uh, but he has been an absolute monster here lately in his last seven games. Posted PRA lines of 54, 50, 55, 49, 64, 60, and 42. So he's been absolutely crushing it here, guys. He's playing an Indiana team that really doesn't have any in any answers on the inside at all. Um, and the 76ers still have you know something here to play for. A little bit of playoff positioning here for the 76ers. So I don't mind this one. Like I said, <clears throat> you got to take it easy today. You know, who knows what I'm actually going to end up rolling with. I'll have to look at the lines and really decide what I want to go with. But this was an early lean here for me. He's been absolutely crushing it. Um, you know, he already had 60 versus the Pacers a few games ago for PRAs. So his line probably will be quite high, uh, but it'll be justifiably so uh, because he's been on an absolute tear, like I said. Um, number two lane, we had the New Orleans Pelicans plus five and a half spread uh, versus the Grizzlies. Pelicans still have, again, playoff positioning here to play for. They're playing for home court in the playing game. So that should mean something to them. Um, right now, though, we got Brandon Ingram listed as questionable, which I don't love that. Grizzlies have nothing left to play for here. You know, obviously, they already got the number two seed locked up and not playing for any type of playoff positioning. You know, the Grizzlies here lately have failed to cover in three of the last four games. So, you know, are they going to rest their starters? They should rest their players a little bit. Like I said, they don't have anything to play for, so... You know, we'll see what happens as far as that goes. Pelicans here have been pretty solid lately, though, guys. They've covered in eight of their last 11 games. And on the season, they have already beaten the Grizzlies once, which was significant to me because uh, a lot of teams can't beat the Grizzlies. So the fact that the Pelicans even beat the Grizzlies once uh, meant something to me. I honestly like that. Like I said, this is just a lane right now, just a look. Um, any official plays, like I said, I'll post um, here in the pinned comment. Uh, so we might have other plays for that game as well. But right now, that's just what I'm looking at. Uh, here to start. And then our number three lane of the day, we got Davion Mitchell over an assist. While his last six games here, he's been absolutely crushing it as far as the assist goes. He's got 9, 9, 8, 10, 9, and 17 for assists. So he's been doing really well in that category. Um, he's drawn a pretty solid matchup today with the Los Angeles Clippers, who are allowing the ninth most assist to guards over the last 10 games, uh, which, is, you know, which again is very solid here. Like I said, these are kind of, you know, early leans. Uh, no official plays yet. I want to see the lines. I, I do better when I can visualize lines and start diving in from there. Uh, so we may have plays that are completely different from these. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to, more wanted to get this video out as an information video so you guys know where to find uh, the plays today. Uh, you'll find them, like I said, pinned comment on YouTube, Twitter, and Discord. So uh, I hope that works out well. Um... I'll, uh, at least for the 1 o'clock game, try to have that posted by 11. Hopefully, again, you know, we got to see where where our, our lines are at. I believe the Pacers and 76ers tip off around 1 p.m. Uh, and the rest of the games are later tonight. So, um, like I said, we'll see what we have. You know, who knows you know, how many plays we're going to have, guys. It's we got to be really careful here at the end of the season. I don't want to waste money on, on dumb plays here at the end of the year because it's just – very difficult cap in the NBA right now. That's why this week has been such an up and down week for me. Uh, if you guys have been following the channel, I've been a little sporadic with videos, and this is a lot of the reason why I don't have a lot of information to go off of in the morning, which, you know, obviously is what I rely on. So, um, we are going to plan on having our Major League Baseball videos back tomorrow as well, guys. Uh, so, just want to let you guys know about that as well. Uh, we're going to be trying to get those filtered back in. Um, I could do those the night before. So I'm going to be trying to get our baseball videos out daily now. Really excited about baseball. We went 2-1 and one in our first episode of the season in baseball. So we had a winning day in our first day. Uh, so I'd like to do, I'd like to get our baseball videos out as well. Who knows? Maybe today I'll have a few baseball plays as well. We'll see. Uh, again, I'll have those, the baseball plays, I'll probably have those posted in the community tab. Again, I'll also be on our Twitter and Discord uh, if I do have any baseball plays, but we'll see. Um, other than that, guys, it's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of the, your day. I hope you found this video uh, helpful. Uh, I know this one's a little bit different than what we usually do. Normally, we have our picks lined up and we go through. Uh, this is obviously a little bit different because we're not working with lines. Um, so, you know, hopefully, looking forward to the playoffs, guys. This has got me... 
The end of the season's got me way out of whack here. Can't wait for the playoffs to start. Wish you guys all the best of luck in your bets today. Like I said, check out all our links for social media, our Discord. Um, you know, check out our Straight Fire MVP program as well if you're interested in supporting the channel in that way. Also, check out our prize picks links. Um, that really helps us out as well if you guys use that link. Uh, if you do happen to be wanting to sign up for a prize picks account, like I said, they specialize in player props. They do a great job uh, with the app, guys. It really is a lot of fun. All right, guys. Other than that, that's going to do it for me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Good luck today. Let's cash the bets. Until we see you next time, peace out.